Hey everyone, Patrick here to show you tips on Ghosts and Goblins. You may be familiar with playing this on the NES, and like the console versions, this game is known to be one of the hardest in that generation, mainly because of enemies spawning at random times, and if you get hit twice, you die. I know when I played the arcade version, I've blown through many quarters attempting to beat this game. Today I'm here to give you tips and tricks that will hopefully make your playthrough of Ghosts and Goblins a little bit easier. On stage 1, if you hit a tombstone a total of 15 times, a magician will appear and attempt to blast magic. If you get hit by it, you'll turn into a frog. If you kill the magician, you get extra points. Did you know that you can score some easy extra points in stage 3? In the area before encountering the gargoyle, you can trick the zombies into spawning by walking back and forth as they first walk onto the screen. It can be tricky to pull off sometimes, but if you do it right, you can rack many points till the clock almost runs out. If you don't want to fight the demon on top of stage 3, you can climb down and walk to the left. If you are fast enough, it never returns. Normally, you would have to encounter two unicorns at the beginning of stage 6. You could go through them, but you'll likely get damaged or killed. Instead, at the beginning of the stage, climb up the ladder till you see the unicorns. Then climb back down, go left of the screen, and now keep jumping. You may have to keep moving left and right as you jump. As you can see, they disappeared. When you climb up, you'll see them glitched out. Their fireballs can still kill you, but it's easier to avoid them now. The shield is great for blocking projectiles, but the drawback is the short range of the weapon. It sucks battling some bosses and any enemies that are farther away, but you do need the shield at level 6 to get to the final boss. Otherwise, if you beat the stage without it, you go back to level 5. This sucks to use against the Satans, but you can make short work of the final boss with the shield. Beat the game, and then beat it again to get the true final ending. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you would like to have the ultimate arcade experience with some family and friends, book a session at Vagabond Arcade.